Today we're doing the flacker. If you're learning the flacker, this might help you out. It's basically my progression, my experience of the flacker over time, and I sort of just break down uh, the little bits, little sort of tips and tricks that I learned along the way, the different stages. But if you're learning the flacker or you want to start learning, then hopefully this helps. If you've been watching the videos for, for a while now and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, that would be really awesome. Also, if you guys got any comments, any feedback, any suggestions on videos, leave them down in the comments below. I read every single one. I reply to pretty much every single one as well. So yeah, let me know. But other than that, enjoy the video and uh, I hope it helps. So I've just started landing my first few flackers and they are getting more and more consistent so I thought I'd share what I've learned and the progression I've made through the different stages so hopefully if you are at any of these stages I can help you get to the next step and hopefully land your first flacker. You can do it! So my first few attempts weren't really proper attempts it was purely just to get myself to start trying them. Usually I went in too slow, which meant I couldn't actually jump, and I would always push the sail instead of guiding or placing it into the right position. <laughs> I started building my confidence and started going in with more speed, but I was instinctively still pushing the sail out with my back hand and wasn't able to get the board out of the water at all. I knew I needed to throw the sail closer to the apparent wind and avoid pushing out with my back hand. So I fixed this by keeping the back hand close to my body. I also found it useful to think about extending the front arm towards the apparent wind and not just keeping the back hand in. Without realising it, I also started to slide my back hand down the boom on the takeoff for more control over the sail which is the same as the upwind 360. Still though, the board control wasn't great, so it would just slide underneath me and away from me, forcing me to land on my back. Next, I tried working on my board control. I focused on really committing to popping the board and throwing my hips into the rotation, which I did get better at, but still not quite right. I started getting my body weight forward before the takeoff and got the sail quite far back before aggressively throwing the sail into where I thought the apparent wind was at the takeoff. I noticed a lot of progression here as the board was actually rotating properly and the sail began to feel much lighter on the takeoff. Here I managed to get my first jump and slide. I realised that if the sail is thrown to the right place and you get the correct timing on the jump, you don't actually have to jump that high. You just need to get the fin out the water and I was almost placing my back foot round the rotation. I didn't get it on camera but this was around the moment I got properly round for the first time, getting the board to do a 180 and then I just spun out on the exit. I had finally got the feeling for the flacker and it really clicked at this moment. Nice. So I just needed to focus on the exit by keeping my body weight over the center of the board and keeping the sail in the right position as I move through the rotation. So I found this part to be exactly the same as the upwind 360. It's really important to try and keep the sail backwinded as you slide and keep the board rotating under you. Once the board has rotated, then as you open out the sail, you'll be in control. And then after a few more attempts, I managed to get around my first flacker. I was absolutely stoked and actually got a few more in that same session. A great success. Let me know if you're currently learning the flacker down in the comments below, or if you can already do it and have any tips to share, that'd be awesome. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.